100 years ago, there was an Ottoman Empire, and Turkey had responsibility for a great many uh, territories. Uh, as a result of wars and revolutions, that empire does not exist, but Turkey has discovered that it has found something even better. It is an empire of business uh, throughout Europe, Asia, and now North America. So we can celebrate that with the visit to Houston of His Excellency, and it is my pleasure to start these proceedings by introducing a great friend of many of ours, the president of the Texas Turkish American Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Celil Yaka. Thank you, Ambassador. Sayın Devlet Bakanım, His Excellency Minister Çağlayan, and ladies, gentlemen, welcome to the luncheon program about business opportunities in one of the most fastest growing economy, Turkey. It is great to see so many businessmen and women here. I know that many of you have traveled from quite a distance. And I like to acknowledge people from Mexico, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Dallas, San Antonio, Austin, who have made this long trip to participate in this lunch program. Turkey and United States relations have an approximately 200 year long history. It has been a long time the first American ships came to Izmir in 1797. These two countries have been strategic partners for many years. Texas Turkish American Chambers of Commerce was established for improve this relation on economics. Thank you, thank you very much for all of you. You join us, and thank you, Excellency Chalian and his delegation. They come to Houston. Thank you very much. Teşekkür ederim to Mr. Yaka, and now to present greetings on behalf of the Greater Houston Partnership. It is my pleasure to introduce. Mr. George Gonzalez, a partner of the outstanding Houston law firm of Bracewell Giuliani and the vice chair of the World Trade Division of the Greater Houston Partnership. Good afternoon. I am George Gonzalez, partner with Bracewell and Giuliani here in Houston and vice chair, as the ambassador indicated, of the World Trade Board of the Greater Houston Partnership. It is my great honor to welcome to Houston His Excellency Zafir Jalawan, the State Minister of Trade for the Republic of Turkey. Let me also welcome all the delegation members that have joined the minister on his first trip to Houston. I would like to take a moment to also welcome the Honorable Akil Oktem, Consul General of Turkey in Houston, who diligently represents Turkey in our region and works hard to increase our trade and cultural ties. Let me especially thank the Texas Turkish American Chamber of Commerce, President Jalil Yaka, for his continued leadership here in strengthening this region's business cooperation with Turkey and for arranging this luncheon with the Greater Houston Partnership in honor of the Minister Chaleyan. As a primary business advocate for the 10 county Houston region, the Greater Houston Partnership's mission is to help attract high-wage jobs and increase capital investment while stimulating foreign trade growth. With success in these three areas, the economic prosperity of the region is that much more secure. Our region is proud of its standing as a gateway to global markets. And while the global recession has stalled growth and opportunities for many cities and regions, because of our robust, proactive international outreach, the Houston region has stayed the course and even prospered. Our continued business and cultural ties with the great nation of Turkey and other important commercial and trade areas in the Near East positions us well to prosper into the future. And through the years, the connection between the Houston region and Turkey has become stronger and more vital. As a testament to this connection, the connection between Houston and Turkey, Houston forged a sister city bond with Istanbul in 1986. Since the 1980s, we've enjoyed a mutually beneficial exchange of business, 
culture, and goodwill for more than two decades. Turkey's total trade with Houston has been steadily rising for the past five years, ranking Turkey as one of Houston's top 30 global partners. As of 2009, total trade between Houston and Turkey reached more than $1.5 billion. The very essence of our gathering today is to work together, the Houston region and Turkey, to increase trade and business cooperation between our respective companies. At what we hope will be the first of many visits by Minister Chalayan to Houston, the Greater Houston Partnership is honored to have you here, and we look forward to expanding Houston's business relationship with Turkey. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chase. Uh, certainly, I want to extend from the mayor of Houston, who would love to be here today, but she is out of town and asked me to uh, welcome our guests and certainly welcome all here at the luncheon today. Uh, the very fact that the mayor of Houston uh, chose to change the government of the city to emphasize development and also emphasize our international relations, I think, speaks for why I'm the representative of the mayor here. Uh, what we would like to do at this point, and I have a certificate signed by the mayor before she left town, is to offer His Excellency an honorary citizenship to the city of Houston. Uh, we want to do that, and I don't intend to read the entire certificate, but there are parts of it that are important to all of us. That uh, His Excellency, in recognition of the outstanding success you have achieved and the appreciation of the valuable contributions you have made and are making through unselfish public service for the benefit and welfare of humanity. Furthermore, as a token of high esteem, we have selected His Excellency as a goodwill ambassador of the city of Houston with full power and authority to form others in his country and elsewhere of the genuine hospitality and the friendly atmosphere that prevails in our good city. In witness thereof, I've, I've heretofore set my hand and have caused the official seal of the city of Houston, Anise Parker. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andy Icken. Next to bring the greetings of the state of Texas is one of Houston's most remarkable natural resources, uh, the distinguished senator from the 13th District of Texas, Rodney Ellis, who uh, having been... <laughs> yes. I, was, I was going to say uh, in introducing the senator that he happened to be the governor or the senator, uh, president, uh, president of the Texas Senate uh, during the time of the 2000 presidential election, in which case when then Governor Bush and then Lieutenant Governor Perry were out of the state, he became governor of Texas. And I think you have the record of being governor something like six times. So it is my pleasure not just to introduce Senator Rodney Ellis, but former Governor Rodney Ellis. <laughs> Thank you, Ambassador Chase Uttermeyer. Since I'm representing Governor Perry today, I don't want to make any snafus, but the excellency, I was acting governor of Texas for about 56 days, three hours, and 33 minutes. And the state was in good shape on all of those days. I, uh, I have learned a lot about Turkey sitting here at the table today. I mentioned that flying in 
uh, from our other capital, from our nation's capital this morning, someone sitting on the plane wasted something on my suit. And so my a luncheon guest made the comment to me, there's no problem. He wanted my measurements and he's gonna get a suit made for me and I look forward to getting that suit. But more significantly,